Hey everybody, it's Christopher Small, the owner of CMS Law Firm. We do estate planning, we do probate, we do it well. Today, I'm gonna to talk about why we don't like testamentary trusts for minor children. Uh, before we get to that though, I wanna remind you, if you have questions about this or anything else related to estate planning or probate, and you wanna talk with us over the phone for free, you can do so by going to cmslawfirm.com. Okay, so I have made a video about testamentary trusts before and about how much I dislike them, despise them, hate them, actually will not make them. But I never spoken specifically about testamentary trusts in the context of minor children. Somebody on YouTube left me a comment asking me to make this video, and so here I am to oblige. By the way, if you have comments or questions or anything, leave them, I will find them, I will make your video, and you will have your answer. Okay. Before we get into the weeds about why I don't like testamentary trusts for minors, which are people under 18, let's just define all the terms. A testamentary trust is a trust that is sort of baked into a will. So you have a will, and inside of the will it says, when I die, I want to make a trust and put these things in the trust, and then I want the trust to operate in this way, okay? A testamentary trust is created when you die inside of the will. That is the reason why I don't like testamentary trusts. There's no reason to put a trust inside of a will. What happens if you do that is to fund the trust, you have to go through probate, which kind of defeats the purpose of creating a trust. I've always thought it was just a way for attorneys to get paid twice. They get paid to create the estate plan and then they get paid when the person dies to go through the probate and to fund the trust. The way that I do it is, when people want to leave a trust for anyone, I always create the trust outside of the will. I make the trust active like right now, put some stuff in the trust, point everything else at the trust so that when the person dies, everything automatically goes into the trust without probate. The trust immediately has access available for use by the trustee. Everyone is happy, uh, everything runs smoothly, the unfortunate thing is I don't get paid twice because I'm not doing probates on my trusts on purpose. It's called doing good legal work, okay? So when it comes to minors specifically, I don't like testamentary trusts for the reasons I just mentioned. And to go a little bit further, the reason I don't like testamentary trusts, period, because you have to go through probate, there's a the length of time that is required to actually go through the probate process before funds can be accessed and before funds can be distributed out. Typically, it's at least four months. In some places, it can be six months. In some places, it can be even longer because you're waiting for the creditor claim process to expire. You're waiting for several other things to happen. The judge has to open a probate and approve the administrator, do all those kinds of things. It just takes a long time. If you have a situation where minors are coming into assets via a trust or via any other method, any other platform, any other documents, usually someone important to them died. And they are going to be hung out as minors until those assets come into play so that they can use them for their benefit. So for me, I want to have those assets available as quickly as possible. So we don't put the trust in the will, so we don't have to go through probate, so we don't have to pay the attorney's fees, so we don't have to waste the time, so we can have immediate access to assets, okay? Hopefully that made sense. If it did, that's great. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you're someplace you can follow or subscribe, hit the button and do it because you're gonna get more cool stuff like this. And as always, if you have questions about this or anything else related to estate planning or probate, and you wanna talk with us over the phone for free, you can do so by going to CMS lawfirm.com. Okay, that is it. As always, I am Christopher Small. I am the owner of CMS Law Firm. We do estate planning. We do probate. We do it well. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. I appreciate you, and I will talk to you again soon. See ya.